Everybody loves a good fish tale, but two shark fishing guides from Pensacola have one they're never going to forget. It was last Monday night when they met their clients near the Floribama and Orange Beach. This is something else. They had no idea when the sun came up that they would be landing what's believed to be the first great white shark ever caught from the beach in Alabama. And our house Sherrick has their story. It's the sound Dylan Weir and partner Blaine Kenny have been waiting to hear all night. The telltale sign a big fish has hit. Oh, that's a fish. I'm running another bait out, so I'm actually in the kayak. Coming back in, the Tiagra 130 behind me here has a clicker that you could hear from a million miles away. And when I heard it going off, I thought that's the big reel. We run that bait 600 yards out. It was a Jack Creval head, about eight, 10 pounds or so. And when I heard it go off, I watched Blaine stick it from the beach and then it kind of goes slack and then he sticks it. And from first minute, minute and a half, it was dumping. It didn't take long to realize they'd hooked into a monster fish. Both have caught their share of big sharks from area beaches, but nothing could have prepared them for what was about to happen. First, they just had to focus on getting it to the beach, and for that, it was all hands on deck. It 100% took every every one of us to reel that fish in. I mean, everybody cranking and cranking and cranking until they couldn't anymore, and then the next person would go, and then eventually Dylan got in the harness and was just like, we have to put more heat to this fish other than just the rod holder because this fish needs to come in as healthy as possible. Up to this point, the guides and their clients thought they must have a large tiger shark on the hook, which are common in the Gulf. They were about to find out otherwise. It's a great white. To say the next few moments were chaotic may be an understatement, as the group realized they'd hooked the world's largest predatory fish, a great white. The pandemonium quickly turned to a focus on releasing the shark quickly. 63 seconds later, it was free to probably never be caught again. If you're thinking this catch is unusual, the northern Gulf of Mexico's leading shark expert would agree. They're relatively rare individuals, especially in this part of the world, and especially from the beach. So this is, this is a very rare event, and it may be that those guys continue to fish for the, from the beach for the next several years and never catch another one like it. Rare or not, folks enjoying spring break on the beach near where the shark was caught were pretty shocked and just a bit nervous. It's a little nerve wracking, but it's also kind of cool. Yeah. Is it going to keep you guys out of the water? No. No, no, no sir. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> but it is interesting just what brought him here, what got it here, why is he here? I asked those very questions of Dr. Marcus Dryman with Mississippi State University. He tells me this a, a 10 or 11 foot great white shark is a juvenile shark and what brought it close to the beach here is likely the cooler waters near the coastline right now. Uh, whatever the reasons, it made for a great fishtail about the one that was allowed to get away. Live in Orange Beach, Hal Sherrick, Fox 10 News.